Courtney, what's wrong with this picture? There's no mailbox. <laughs> That's right. Some punk kids ran over my mailbox again. So guess what? Least handy handyman. Here we go. All right, so here's what we need today. First of all, a new mailbox. This is the one that Mrs. Wagoner picked out. Uh, we're gonna need some work gloves. Courtney, my mom got me these for Christmas. I think she thought it was funny how bright and thin and dumb they were. So I have the ones I stole from your house. <laughs> um, we're gonna need a pencil because we're gonna have to make a cut. Uh, we need a four by four. That's what this is. Four by four, did you know that? Four by four? We're gonna have to cut this off. Yeah, it doesn't uh, look it's... like it's four by four. Oh, oh, I see. Four inches by four This inches. is a six foot four by four. <laughs> Courtney didn't know quite what that meant. It makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Uh, but it is longer than we need. Although, how do we feel about an elevated mailbox, Courtney? <laughs> like just a little higher than all the others. There's probably some regulation that says it can't be higher than a certain height. No, oh, no, I live out here in the Wild West. We don't have rules or laws. We do what we want. Tell that to the post office. Uh, Mrs. Wagoner didn't know that they will cut these at the store for you, so now we get to, which adds a little element of danger in today's Leaf Candy Candy Man. Um, I'm excited. I bet. And we're gonna need a post hole digger. Now this one is from the 1700s, as you can see. Uh, I think my father-in-law stole this from the Museum of Ancient History. And then the last, the last thing we need, Courtney, we're gonna need a chop saw, miter saw, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna play with power tools today. Uh, but the last thing we need, typically would be an ice cold beer, but I'm out, so ice cold bourbon it is. How do we feel about the combo of me working a miter saw and drinking more of a hard alcohol than normal? This should be fine. You know what I didn't say we need? Safety glasses. <laughs> we'll, we'll make that determination when the time comes. Let's open this bad boy. Listen, I'm locked in. This is gonna be an easy project. We're not gonna have any problems with this project whatsoever. It's kind of jammed. So you remember from the old days, if it's jammed like this, remember what Jordy taught us, just force it. All right, you know what? That's enough blade exposed to just cut through a little tape. So we're just gonna go with it. Oh, this is a humdinger of a mailbox. Look at that, wow. Courtney. Oh, I've got to assemble this too, for real. Oh, there's that. Looks like it just slides on, right? Courtney, I'm the expert here. <laughs> I can't reach the bottom of the box. Did you get what you're... <laughs> I sure did. We've got instructions, Courtney. You know what we do with these? Toss them. No, we read them carefully because oh. we don't know what we're doing. Okay. Okay. English. Let's skip that. Skip that. Let's just get to the action. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh. I'm not worried. I'm a little worried, Courtney, between you and me. Um, let's cut the board. Let's do that. You're also gonna need a tape measure. I've got one, don't worry. Found my tape measure, Courtney, zoom in on that. See that? It says number one dad. So we need to take off one foot. So, you know what they say, measure twice, cut once. Uh, so this counts as twice, right? It's a foot, it's not rocket science here. We're just gonna kinda mark the whole thing, and then we're gonna chop a finger off. The nice part about a mailbox like this is that it doesn't have to be exact. You know what I mean? We can always dig the hole a little deeper to the saw. And you know what? You gotta carry it on your shoulder too. Yep. This is way worse way to carry this, but that's how we're doing it. Yeah, that sucked. You can see I've got a vast assortment of tools here. Uh, this is my father-in-law's shed. Nope, still, still nothing. Nope, we're not gonna have any problems with this project whatsoever. Let me just try to plug it in direct, oh great. It's too much laughter happening from you, Courtney. I think it's, you're doing great. We're gonna plug straight in. Yep, all we're missing is a little power, then we're Back to it. Back to it. Remind me to plug that back in. Okay. 
There we go. This is gonna go totally fine. Or not. I really do wanna wear some glasses because I don't trust that this will not just kick right back into my face. Yep. I'm gonna go get some. His goggles have seen better days. All right, there we go. And, you know, gotta protect my precious hearing. All right, so at this point, we've stalled as long as we possibly can. It's time to just cut and see what happens. Are you ready? Yep. <sighs> Courtney. Terry. That went better than you expected, worse than you expected, how you expected. It went better, faster, smoother than I expected. Everything you just said I agree with. Okay. We didn't kill ourselves! <laughs> hey! Hey, don't tell my father-in-law that I used this, okay? Was it, I don't know if it was exactly in that spot though. You better move it. He's gonna know. He's not gonna know. Oh, and you know what else? What? This thing was on it. Yeah. And it was like that. Now that we've cut our board Terry, to perfection. Terry. What? Take out your earplugs. Oh. Now that we've cut our board to perfection, we're ready to mount the mailbox onto it, I guess. I don't know. What'd the instructions say that you read so thoroughly? It said to take a break right about now. How are there 10 steps to building this mailbox? I want to know. All right, step one, slide the mailbox onto the post. And it fits just like a glove. Like a glove. Boom! I'm not gonna do all this. I'll tell you right now. I think it's ready to go on the ground, yeah. right? I wonder if these are the people that mowed down my mailbox. Got a new one. Perfect. My concern right now is, did some of the wood break off inside the hole mm. when it was devastated by that golf cart? Golf cart, Courtney. Oh yeah, there's still some, some wood from the last one. There's no way I'm gonna get this out. Oh, what a wrinkle. Oh no, it just snapped the post. Oh boy. Oh, the carnage. You know what, this is a good time for some more gloves. All right. How many times do you think you're gonna walk back and forth? In front more, of the garage. <laughs> more times, Courtney. What are the odds that I can pull this thing out of the ground? Uh, pretty low. I could get a shovel and kind of dig it out. I think that's a good move. You're the expert, <laughs> Terry. I don't know that that the snow shovel is gonna do what you need it to do. You know what? Watch and learn. All right, I'm just gonna go right at it. Yeah, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna try this guy first and see if I can just shovel it out. Okay. I came in real confident today. We're not gonna have any problems with this project whatsoever. Do we really, this is where you start to think like, do we really need mail? You know what I mean? Yep. Like it's mostly ads and junk mail, Christmas cards. Right. I feel like we can do without Christmas cards though. Just pick it up and move it, Terry. Right? Yeah. Like look, it's like a gear shift at this point and I still can't get it out. Oh yeah. Oh. See you next time on Least Handy Handyman. <laughs> And that's what we say is close enough, kids. All right, and then we just fill the rest back in with dirt. Yeah. And we slide the thing on, uh -huh. and we're done. Let's take a break. Look, we're almost to a mailbox. We're getting close. Do you see this? No, get in here, Courtney, and look the at box. this. No, look. Oh. Assembles in minutes. Yeah. You know what we call that? Now some people like secure these in cement and stuff. That's not what we're about. We're not doing that. We're just gonna kick that dirt right back in there. And we're gonna reiterate the importance of good enough. See, look how already, you almost can't even move it. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's so stable. I pulled dirt out of the ground. There should be the same amount of dirt to put back in, but there's not. You'll wanna get more dirt and pack it in. That's the bottom line. Right. All right, now we don't want our mail all dirty because you know, there's a lot of mail that's really important, like Christmas cards, you know? 
uh, and junk mail and postcards from your realtor. Then this just effortlessly snaps right down. See, I bet the kids, I bet the kids won't mess with that again. Got to screw it down, which means got to get a screwdriver. I can see the finish line. I wonder where these screws go. All right, yeah, just right there, I think. Okay, Courtney, I got it. Courtney. Terry. It's not going very well. We're not gonna have any problems with this project whatsoever. Not working? No, it worked fine, totally fine. Uh -huh. uh, I put it in there and now you can't, I did it so flush that you can't even tell mm -hmm. there's a screw in there. Wow. So, so this is pretty much done. Uh, there are some things I'm gonna do to it to stabilize it. I'm gonna put more dirt in. I'm gonna screw the screws in the back. Uh, and then I'm gonna. But those are uh, already screwed in because they're. So well, perfect. this this one is. I need to do this and this and this. But you get the idea, uh -huh. right? Uh huh. Uh, so and that is a textbook example uh -huh. of how you install a mailbox. Uh -huh. If the old mailbox had had this, those kids would have seen it, and they never would have run into it. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave me a comment. But otherwise, you've got mail. See you next time. All right, buddy, there it is. New mailbox. Looks pretty good. Uh, that's crooked. Mm -mm. Yes, it is. No, look, we'll get the level out, we'll see. All right, I'll fix it. Rest in peace, old friend. Rest in peace.